Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a song called Right Now by One Direction. And we're going to end up cabling this on third fret, but it starts out with some cool little guitar hits where you can play second fret on the G string, and we do that eight times, and then third fret on the D string eight times, and then open E eight times, and then we kind of do four of the opens and then go to the first fret on the high E string. So if you want to kind of follow that, that lick, that kind of two, three on the D, open E. So we kind of back that lick up. We'd start on an A minor chord. When we play A minor, first finger goes the B string on the first fret, second finger goes the D on the second fret, and third finger goes the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to an F major chord. If, if you knew the bar F major, we're talking about an easier way to play this too. But you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an F major chord, and it sounds really happy. And a good substitute for that, though, is something called F major 7, where you do your first finger on the B string, first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds like an F major 7, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the F, we're going to be going to our C major, our main verse chord. When we play C major, first finger stays on the B string first fret, the second finger goes to the D string on the second fret, and third finger goes to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string and the high E string, that sounds a C major chord that sounds really, really happy. Now what you may want to do though is kind of, kind of working just, just kind of that muting idea or that, 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 that our downs actually. So I'm kind of taking the flat of my right hand and laying it down on top of the saddle. And if you kind of think of trying to kind of follow that lick that we started with, but with the chords, that could be a very, very cool way to kind of work it through the tune. So I'm using like a little half bar on the C chord to kind of get my first finger kind of over the high E when that first fret comes in, which is a little nasty, but that could be very cool. And, and now a lot of times though to support my voice I like using something called a strum pattern and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down down up up down up so if you're kind of interested in that you take the A minor and just try that a lot you have A minor down up First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the D string second fret, and if you strum all those together, it sounds like an E minor chord and it sounds really sad. And then from the E minor, we'll be going to a G major chord when we play G major. First finger stays on the A string second fret, second finger on the low E string third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. So on the bridge, we kind of got the A minor. Try that with a down, down, up, up, down. Now the weird part is to play along with One Direction, instead of starting on an A minor chord, they're starting on a C minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 3rd fret, then now your A minor is really a C minor, your F is really an A flat major, and your C is really an E flat major chord. But you may want to kind of start it out with, with, with kind of those, those individual notes, actually, kind of, kind of working just those licks. And then people be like, oh my gosh, it's right now, I love this song, you know. Or you can try and kind of work that with the, uh, with the chords, it can be a very, very cool idea too. So A minor, F, C. So just try and kind of bring out those little melody notes. Or you can do the down, down, up, up, down, up, and have A minor, down, up. I think about adding this song though is bass.
bass notes, and a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass for the chord. So on the A minor, you'd have an A for the bass. On the F bar, you'd have a low E for the bass. On the F major, so then you'd have the D for your bass. Down, up, up, down, and on the C, you'd have an A string for your bass. When we get to the E minor, you'd have the low E string for the bass. And on the G chord, you'd have the low E string for the bass. So we kind of tried our first course with basses. We'd have A minor and A bass. From there, and then we pick it up back up on our verse chorus. But, but like I said, if you know other strum patterns that would work, or other licks around those chords, you know, you know feel free to kind of make the tune your own. I think it's always kind of cool to see what you can say with the song. But that's the basics of how you could strum through right now by One Direction. So, good luck! <laughs>